you need to pray for Dr. Ruto. The country he has inherited is not a very sweet story. It's a difficult story. Work has to be done. And it's only God's hand that will help him through. It is not easy. We have a difficult situation. Drought is ravaging people across the country. People have no food. People cannot afford food. Uh, hospital bills is an issue. Schools is an issue. And all this is in the hands of one man. He can't do it alone. God must come through for him. And we ask you to continue praying for him endlessly. And for me, I have a personal request from a very selfish point of view. I want you to pray for me to see how I figure out to fill the great shoes of this great man because they are very big. The standard he has set for deputy president is very high. You know, I'm just figuring out how a little fellow, a son of Mau Mau, can fit in those shoes and get somewhere. And it is not easy. Will you pray for me? Please do. Because it's not easy. So I really want to thank the church and confirm to you. From where I sit, from my endless conversations with my president every day, during the elections you're asking, in whose hands is the church safe? I want to confirm to you today that in the hands of President William Ruto, the church is very safe.